So, he, so the both of the Jimmy and Sarah Goys can go in the same sock net together. That's the shiny silver one. Yeah, so there's that one there, and then there is the other one across on the back wall at the back as well. Okay, so first up, let's take a look at the uh, Gimrin Sarah Goy female. Uh, again, fantastic body shape. Gimrin is absolutely perfect. Nice, big, clean head, clean pectoral fins, clean caudal fin. Look at the full smattering there of that Gimrin. Absolutely incredible very very impressive good body to her as well um again young nissan going to continue to pack on size sex confirmed female absolutely immaculate look at that let's go okay next up in the bowl uh, again 41 cm female gimrin saragoy uh, a little bit darker on this one, not quite as uh, as light on the head, but the head is still very, very clean. Uh, you can see that this one's got the Achiba bloodline in it, which is why it's that little bit darker. You can tell that by uh, the Achiba mark in there and that right pectoral fin. Um, but again, the Ginrin is absolutely sublime. Uh, literally scale perfect all the way through, very clean on the head. Nice big dorsal fin, she's nowhere near done growing yet. Absolutely fantastic. Might actually be holding one of these guys back for potential brood stock for myself. Time will tell. Let's go. Okay, so let's look at this Deutsche Benny Goy female. She has got a tiny bit of sumi there, which looks like it's dissipating off, and one tiny sumi spot there. Again, exactly the same. But the body on it is absolutely incredible. She's hyper clean. The bone structure of her, the, the physical body mass that she's got, she's going to be an absolute lump. Nissai 50 cm. Again, single coloured fish, it's going to be an absolute whale. Uh, super, super impressive. Again, just look at the way she holds herself there. Absolutely mind-blowingly good, let's go. Okay, let's look at a very large Nissoy here, 56 centimetres. This will be Sansoy in April. Um, it is a shower because it has got the uh, little bit of black here on the head, which I can actually see more coming up as well, which is gonna create that fantastic memoir. It's amazing how the Benny finishes there just between the eyes, which is exactly what you're looking for with that wet red, um, white, red, black, white, red, black, white, red, black, all the way down the fish, which is exactly what you're looking for. The Soroji is hyper clean. It's a little bit veiny at the moment because like I say, she's a big old girl. And she's very, very stressed. The Sashi and Kiwa, as you can see on the fish, is absolutely impeccable with that half scalation there, which is exactly what you want. Some nice sumi coming through here on the sides. The same down on here and the same on here as well. Um, we're going to run this one an absolute steal at 325. Some nice Motoguru and Tajin in the fins as well, indicating the Sumi that is coming through is going to be that nice deep dark Sumi, which is exactly what we want. Another good indication that the Sumi is going to be very strong is how it's nice and inky blue underneath the surface. Joss Alvin talks about this in his book. Um, absolutely fantastic, big lump of a female. Again, huge caudal fin on that, very, very impressive. Let's go. Okay, so let's look at a 46 cm. Uh, again, show her, because it's got the red, white, and black on the head, and it's got the tagine in the, in the right pectoral fin as well. This is the difference. Those, this coil and the one previously, there is only 10 centimeters difference. This is the difference of what we explained about how when we get the body on the fish, that extra volume and body mass can make that fish appear a hell of a lot bigger than what it is. I mean, this is a big lump at 46 cm uh, as Nissan. It's got some fantastic developments come through. Uh, the memoir is just beginning on the head here as well. And you can see here where the Sumi is starting to lock in. Same as down here and on the sides as well. It's going to be a very evenly matched koi. Again, sex confirmed female. Um, look how the Benny stops there just before the Odomay at the back of the cordial fin. Again, an indication of a very, very good uh, Showa again, Sashi and Kiwa, very, very strong. You can see why these are the Dainichi Cross Sekiguchi bloodlines. Let's go. So, again, looking at another female Showa. Um, <coughs> she just needs some uh, some more body uh, putting on her to sort of fill out that back end. 
but the Benny that's there, the Soroji's clean. Uh, a lot of sumi to come up on this one. It's going to be an interesting fish to watch this one develop out. An awful lot of tagine there in the left and right pectoral fins as well. Uh, but I'm very, very impressed with the Soroji as well as the sashi and kiwa on this fish, as you can see. Nice big size mouth on her as well. She's going to be a good old lump. Absolute bargain of the day on this video at 155 on that simply due to the fact that she just needs to put that little bit of body on the back but if somebody wants to snap up a bargain now there she is folks let's go okay so looking at one of the sankeys and it is a sankey because that uh, sumi isn't there on the head the sumi that is there is hyper hyper dark the benny is literally liverpool red the Soroji, even though a little bit vain at the moment you can still see the sheer quality of it for a female at 41 cm as a young Nissai, this is going to be an incredible buy for anybody. I mean, that is seriously, seriously impressive. The sashi and kiwa is pretty much perfect. Assuming it's there is very, very dark. A little bit of tagine in the uh, left pectoral in there. You can see where we've got some more indications soon we're coming up on the front just there. Once that starts locking in, very, very evenly matched fish all the way through. And again, a fantastic body on her for a female. Let's go. Okay, so let's look at another fantastic example of a Sankey. Look at the shoulders on her there. Oh my lord. Absolutely impeccable. Clean left pe clean left and right pectoral fin. I can't even get my words out. I'm that excited about this. The sumi that's there is so inky black, it's untrue. Again, the coloration stops perfectly there just before the older made the peduncle is very very nice and thick and round the sashi and kiwa is literally perfect the soroji that you can see on the sides again hyper hyper wide i've intentionally kept this big girl at 41 cm young nissai nice and cold to continue to develop that benny love the way the head pattern there falls almost perfect uh, between the eyes doesn't leach into the eyes or anything like that a very very well balanced fish and fantastic i say fantastic i'm running out of adjectives to describe the body on this koi. The bone structure's there, the body's there, the coloration's there. This is an almost perfect koi. Let's go. Okay, so looking at another Sankey. Again, very good markings there, just before the head. The Benny's nice and deep. You can see where you've got that sumi coming there, just before the top of the head, uh, with some more underlying sumi still yet to come through. And again, the Soroji, even though a little bit vain at the moment, these guys are super stressed. Like I say, they've been uh, taken out of the pond, putting the resting bowl, putting the measuring bowl, then taking across and put into the photograph bowl. But again, coloration shots just before the Odomo there. The Benny that's there is absolutely incredible, nice and vivid and deep. This is definitely one to develop out and watch for the future. But again, an amazing bargain at 175, 41 cm male. The previous two were actually 44 cm. The females were, I did put a little note up on the video there for you guys, but this one, sets confirmed male, 41 cm, let's go. Okay, it's so looking at a 45 centimetre female Sankey again. Uh, again, the Benny breaking just before the bottom of the nose there. Uh, the Sroja that you can see on the sides is very, very clean, uh, very, very crisp, as well as the Sashi and Kiwa. Uh, the Sumi that's developing through here uh, on the shoulders of the Koi uh, is very, very dominant and strong, the same as the uh, nice balance sumi going all the way down the coil as well some nice big uh, caudal fin there on the back of her clean pectoral fins left and right uh, again just look at the body on that for a sankey honestly i am super super impressed with what yos Avon and merv westgate are achieving over at yashiki goi they're literally breaking the mold this is a seriously seriously good fish some fantastic potential development to come through as well one i am very very excited about let's go Okay, so again, look at another Sankey with some fantastic sumi markings. Uh, perfect fish to be viewed from above or again from the side through a window. Either way, looking absolutely incredible. A little bit of tagine there in the right hand side fin. Again, perfect break there just behind the back of the nose on the Benny Pate on the head. Uh, still some sumi coming through. Um, very, very close to being finished, this queue. So if, you, if you're looking for a show that you fell in love with and this happens to be the one, this pattern to me looks pretty much locked in. Again, nice big thick peduncle on the back, great body shape there uh, for a female. Again, 
the bending quality on these is absolutely outstanding we don't tweak photos or videos or anything like that we just literally vlog exactly what we see look at that one that i am definitely definitely more than happy to be keeping back let's go wow 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 and wow again maritan sankey ladies and gentlemen super super impressive look at that maritan spot there just on the front soon me starting just before uh, the back of the shoulders if i can actually get my buddy phone to uh, focus i'm that excited my hands are shaking so road is very clean again the sumo that's still coming through on the right and the left hand side is going to leave this a very very well balanced uh, maritan sankey the only one i've got on the whole cover farm to be fair this one's priced up online at the minute at 245 again split payment options available ladies and gentlemen this is definitely one to watch out for in the future and one that i'd love to potentially see competing to be fair hell of a lot of development to do more size to come more body to come male as well but again fantastic body shape for a male thick peduncle 41 cm hell of a lot to do in, in size the body shapes there the bone structures there all the right curves in all the right places folks let's go okay so looking at a 40 cm kahaku female uh, again sashi and kiwa very strong benny's very deep very dark uh the soroji again other than being veiny is hyper hyper clean as well uh, no signs of any sumi spotting on this koi or anything like that again she's a beautiful beautiful fish um not really a lot to say about this one to be fair it's just read it for what it is it's a fantastic kahaku priced at 170 um again female absolutely tip tip top look at the benny quality and, and sarosi quality on that let's go okay so looking at this male shower 40 cm again fantastic uh, body structure on it for a male um the sumi that's there again coming up on the head coming up above the shoulders there nice evenly well placed sarosi's hyper clean sash and kiwa on the benny's outstanding motoguri that's freestanding in both of the pecs as well which is very very good to see again nice big shaped head on it leading into the shoulders there some more volume some more body on this koi it's going to be absolutely mega let's go so again 41 cm male he shower um a little bit off balance there with the sumi as you can see it's got a bigger patch on the left hand side than it does on the right hand side but don't let that distract anything away from this koi it's absolutely amazing bargain price of 145 because like i say it is a little bit unbalanced but the serology that you can see is phenomenal this fish is perfect whether you've got a window pond like myself there or whether you've just got a traditional above ground pond where you're looking down from above absolutely impressive body for a male on this get some serious body serious size on this keep pushing that benny keep pushing that sumi it's going to be a cracking fish especially when the memoiry on the head here begins to join through absolutely impressive let's go last but by no means least ladies and gentlemen a very very well balanced benny come on royal the serology that you can see underneath is very very impressive especially now that sumi on top of that benny is beginning to lock in it does look like this bit here as well through the middle is uh, imminently about to join up making a perfect sort of uh, s shape there in the front of that koi honestly i am absolutely in love with these benny cumin roos that we've got coming through like i say we have got the very very special one as you can see just there through the window in my window pond but it's looking absolutely fantastic it is a male what's the size mate male 37 cm for a young nissai it's a very very good size for a, a benny cumin roo just look at that let's go Fish on Kino, ladies and gentlemen. Done it all with battery still intact. Let's go. I've got about 4% battery on my phone, so if it cuts off midway through, screw it. I'm just going to upload it online anyway. Make sure, please, that you are subscribed along. It means the absolute world to me. You guys hit me up in the comment section down below asking for prices of the koi, asking questions about the koi, asking questions about me, what's coming next, and stuff like that. I am absolutely loving life at the moment. Um, the fish health is absolutely incredible. The farm's in a really, really good position now. Um, and it's all down to you guys. The amount of mad love, support you guys keep giving me week in, week out. 
you know what I mean? The, the body weight's coming off. I'm in a good place mentally, physically, emotionally. Um, yeah, love's good. Christmas is just around the corner. We're trying to do as much as we possibly can for you guys in regards to making sure that every single koi coming out of the koi, coming out of the koi farm and coming out of Reef Oasis koi farm is affordable, which is why we're doing, like I say, the no credit check direct debit uh, with you guys. I do keep stressing the fish cannot leave the farm until the direct debit is paid off in full. Um, but you can go ahead and you can purchase the koi outrides as well. You don't have to do the split payments if it is that you want to take your koi. All the koi that you see in the bowls today uh, are coming in at around sort of 12, 13 degrees because they're on an unheated pond inside the polytunnel, the window tunnel, uh, the window pond inside the tunnel. Uh, that's at around, like I say, 15, 16 degrees. But it's amazing to see now. I'm sorry I keep looking off into the background because the window pond is heated. I can actually see the steam starting to come up off the pond, which is, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, life is good. Christmas is just around the corner. For all the little ones out there watching, I hope Santa brings everything that's on your wish list. <coughs> and I'm looking forward to seeing some of you guys over winter. Don't forget, I am disappearing soon. I am only going to be doing members only videos. The members only videos will switch to normal public videos from January the 31st. I need a little bit of a break without having a break while still doing the farm, but it's a completely different vlogging style that I'm going to be doing moving forward. Um, so yeah, you might, guys might hate the vlogging style in January and be like, thank God he's back to normal come April. Um, March, thank God he's back to normal come March. Uh, but there's going to be a hell of a lot of content coming out from January the 31st all the way through to March 1st, pretty much a piece of content every single day. Um, so yeah, don't miss me too much folks, but if it is that you want to join the members only area, if you're on iPhone or iPad, uh, you have to sign into YouTube through your web browser, whether that be Safari or Google. Uh, sign into YouTube that way and you can join for as little as $2.99 a month up to a maximum of $15.99 a month. Now you may be thinking, Jack, $15.99 a month, that's a lot of money. I understand that totally. So what I'll do to give back is you guys will get a 20% discount code for as long as you are a member on our members only area. So if you buy one coin, you've already made that $15.99 back and then some. Uh, I know a lot of the members already that are already pre uh, joined previously from previous video shout outs and stuff those guys are um making huge huge savings across the coin 15.99 is gold that's 20 percent i think 12.99 is silver that's 15 percent i think 7.99 is bronze we might be 5.99 is bronze uh that's 10 percent and you can join for as little as 2.99 a month uh, you get to see all the content but you don't get any discount perks or anything